What's the craziest reason you had to fire someone? I was a bartender bar manager. This guy came in one night and said he was an aspiring DJ and asked if we would consider hiring him to come in just on Sunday nights to DJ for us. He said we wouldn't have to pay him at first. He would just take tips and we could renegotiate after he helped to build up our Sunday night crowd. He lasted less than 3 months. He drove away so much business and I got so many complaints. He played the same songs every week and when people made requests for commonly known songs, he had no idea who they, the musicians, were. I had to fire someone who was working for free. He was a nice guy, which is the only reason he lasted as long as he did. This is both sad and hilarious at the same time. Not my personal experience, but one fellow contractor had a safety guy for 6 months. One weekend he took a trip out of town for non-work related reasons, but used the company truck and charged it all on the company credit card. On his way up there he ran a random person off the road, who just so happened to be one of the owners of another contractor who works closely with the one who employed this guy. Shortly after he was fired and I'm sure criminal charges were being brought against him. A couple weeks later his wife calls his former employer saying he had called her randomly and killed himself in his truck on the side of the highway. Me and another colleague went searching for records of this guy. Couldn't find anything no claims of a suicide in the local paper where he supposedly killed himself at. Thought it was weird but whatever. It turns out this guy falsified all his qualifications and job experience. Fast forward a month later, and I heard through the grapevine that the original contractor who had employed this guy received a call from some contractor across country because he applied for work there and put them down as his previous employer. He faked his own death to get out of trouble with the company then proceeded to put them down on his resume not expecting anyone to check his references lol. It astounds me how people in the construction industry don't think anyone knows anyone, or that their reputation will in fact get around. Everyone knows everyone. He also sounds like someone I worked with previously who got fired for similar reasons, as well as being a racist sexist jerk. I work for a hotel. Had to fire two separate employees on two different occasions for letting people in vacant rooms to smoke crack and steal from the rooms. Had an employee that was going to get fired for simply showing up late constantly with no legit reason. During the term meeting she tells me another employee cast the brake lines in her car. It's obvious this was to save her from being fired. She didn't realize that something like that gets cops involved. She was termed, and then detectives showed up to her house to get statements. Of course, no evidence of lines being cut and now she's dealing with police for making false statements. Fired a high schooler because his girlfriend kept showing up and they would disappear behind the racks. I told him his girlfriend was banned trying to not fire him and she kept sneaking back. Worked in an office and they hired a girl from a temp agency to help me. She wouldn't do anything unless I walked her through each step after telling her she had to do it. Hey an estimate just arrived on the fax right next to you. Complete the quote and send it back. Come to find out she was playing spider and solitaire on her computer. She was also sneaking out back in the warehouse guys thought she was doing drugs. I told my boss get rid of her. I would rather work alone than babysit her so he called the temp agency and told them to stop sending her. She showed up the next day so boss sent her home and called the agency saying hey she is useless stop sending her. She showed up again the next day. This went on for over a week. The people at the temp agency said they told her to stop showing but she kept coming in every morning. Mind you usually 10 to 20 minutes late. My boss wouldn't say anything to her face so finally I said hey we can't afford to pay you so we had to let you go through the temp agency. They should have told you. She was all oh I thought they were joking. I was so glad she was gone. Imagine being so useless that working alone is literally easier. Years ago, at a lumber company, had a guy, less than 2 hours after he started on his first day, pick up his car with a forklift and stand underneath it to see what was rattling when he drove. Turned out it was his brain. His head wasn't screwed on tight. During my summer job when I was in college, I had a shift with this guy who didn't show up. I didn't have his number, so I asked my boss to look into it. He gets back to me a little later, and says the guy is on his way, should be there in about 5-10 minutes. 45 minutes later the guy still hasn't shown up, so I text my boss again, 
and he gets back to me a little later and says he's certain the guy should be there any minute, but he still doesn't show up. This continues until the end of the shift, and the guy still isn't here. Closing took a little longer than normal because I was on my own. So I was still working half an hour after my shift was supposed to be over, when this guy strolls in with his girlfriend, he half-heartedly helps for a little while, in between chatting with his girlfriend, before saying he's got some important family dinner and he has to leave. Apparently that wasn't even the first time this had happened, but amazingly this wasn't what got him fired. What finally did it was a couple weeks later when we had a staff meeting. My boss had an open shift that he needed someone to fill, and this guy volunteers. So my boss, in front of all the staff, has the following conversation. You want to work this shift? Yes. Are you sure you're available to work this shift? Yes. So that means that you'll be at, location, at, time, on, day? Yes. Then he still didn't show up. Some people, man. A guy shaved trimmed off his pubes and left them scattered across a shared desk in a shared office. When confronted, he pulled a George Costanza. Oh, is that frowned upon? Yes. Not too crazy. More stupid than crazy. One of the programmers on my team was sitting at his desk looking at P. And this is cubicle land. No offices. My director walked into the area to talk to me and saw it. Then it was the first thing he told me about. So I got up and walked over for a look myself and there it was. Me and the director looked at each and I said I gotta take care of this. So we walked back to HR. I told them what was going on and what we saw and they told me to fire him. So I did. He lost a 110k dollars job for looking at P on his computer at work. If I look at P, I want to whack one off. Work really isn't the place for it. We had someone fall asleep at his desk with a lit cigarette in his hand. In office full of cubicles like maybe 6-7 years ago. Smoking wasn't legal anywhere indoors let alone in an office building Lomeo. And the first time he wasn't even fired. He was fired when it happened again. Had a guy on my team start smoking a cigarette at his desk. He was diabetic. And when confronted it was clear he was low on blood sugar. A soda later and he was quickly himself. I work at an art studio where we teach classes and sell pottery that our artists make for others to paint. I'm one of the artists and the manager. I started getting a funny feeling about one of my employees. She wasn't doing anything blatantly wrong. Just seemed to work really slowly sometimes. Request insignificant but kinda odd schedule changes. And have different break habits from the other staff. I started feeling like she was stealing but this is a really small business so I didn't have her on camera or any way to really prove it. Until she accidentally sent me a video of herself painting pieces that I made from her home. What an idiot. CEO ordered me to fire one of my interns because he was trying to hit on one of the other interns the CEO had the hots for. Fired a guy for looking to pay someone to cast black magic on the owner and the owner's family to bewitch them into giving him a raise and, ironically, never firing him. Only reason I found out was because he asked someone else in the office for help in finding a witch doctor to cast the spells and word got round. No one wanted to be in the same room as him after that. When I confronted him he said the devil made him do it so it wasn't his fault. I live in the Middle East. I definitely did not wake up expecting to fire someone for black magic that day. Side note, practicing black magic is literally a death sentence here. He's gonna post about firing his witch doctor. At a retail job, we had a kid come in and punch in for the day then go home. Would come back at quit in time and punch out. We use separate attendance and pay software. We had someone punch into the pay software at 5am, go home, come back and work his scheduled 5pm to 10pm, and clock out at 10pm. Opening and closing crew aren't too familiar with each other, so he wasn't caught until big boss, who is normally a mid, came in early one day and saw him doing it. They stole a $3 bottle of wine that could have easily put on the house check for employees. Prep cook stole a 25 pound bag of onions. Expensive $3 bottle of wine. The guy had somehow hung on by the skin of his teeth when caught making plastic model funny cars at his desk. Pro tip. Throwing a newspaper over the model doesn't hide the smell of the glue. But when a client called complaining about our hero trying to sell him golf clubs out of the trunk of his car, he was gone. 
Who oh boy. I'd have to go with a guy who in the span of 24 hours. Started a fist fight with another employee. On camera. With witnesses. Then called the police and said the other guy did it. Trying to press charges. I just sent the video. Trespassed on the property the following day and slurred at my boss. On camera. With witnesses. Then called the police and said my boss did it. I just sent the video. Hurt himself somehow and went to the hospital. Where he told the doctor he'd been attacked at work. Doc found no injury consistent with his story and well yeah. Camera. I am a chef at an upscale restaurant. The sauté cook has a lobster dish on his station that involves a technique called deglazing that involves alcohol so in turn the pan catches on fire briefly and flames up. When you do it correctly, hard to do it incorrect, the alcohol is cooked off and the flame goes out. Every time he made this dish he would deglaze the pan, catch it on fire and then blow it out, blowing his own germs and nastiness all over someone's food and everything in the blast radius. That was a week ago. Fired him after he did it multiple times after being asked not to. Maybe it's because of the current state of affairs, but I couldn't believe a trained cook would do that. I am a mere prep cook w decent line experience, and I can't believe someone would do that, pandemic or not. It's just not what you do, it's like cutting cheese into tiny pieces instead of using a grater. One of my nurses was chasing another down the hall with a scalpel in her hand screaming at the top of her lungs I'm going to cut you b. In the early 2000s I managed a coffee shop that required the customers names to be put on the cup. One guy looked like he was doing it but upon closer inspection on some cups he was writing an IP address. Turns out he was running an illegal sports book out of the shop. He did quit before I had to technically fire him because he found out I knew. He worked at the company for two weeks, came to the Christmas party on Friday, got crap faced, told the HR manager that she was a s and would die alone, they had some previous vaguely romantic history, went on a couple of dates or something, tried to fight two of the customer service managers who asked him to calm down, and while being escorted out he turned to the CEO and COO and told them to go them to go them to go them he showed up to work on the Monday talking about how fun the party was and how he had seen some people who would probably be called into HR that morning. He was the first and only employee to be called and was sacked on the spot. Some Todd Packer energy there. I didn't do the firing. But a company I worked for was growing rapidly and needed people quickly. So, they weren't too picky in who they hired. They hired this one guy, Rick who was kind of strange. Seemed harmless enough, but he was just kind of weird and socially awkward. He started off okay, but after a couple of months, his work started trailing off. His supervisor spoke to him, to find out why. Thinking maybe something at home was going on or there was some other issue. Rick said all was okay and left it at that. However, there was no change in his work. Long story short, the LAN guy started looking into his computer usage and found that he was trying to log into P sites at work, all day long, and being repeatedly thwarted by the firewall. Then he started doing searches on how to get around the firewall, then tried getting around the firewall and then tried logging into the P sites again. He did all of this on his work issued computer on the company's network on company time. Yes, after that all came to light, he was quickly shown the door for misuse of company property. Looking back, I kind of feel sorry for him. I'm guessing he was either just that stupid or battling some kind of pee addiction. If he couldn't abstain for 40 hours per week. Had to fire a guy for coming to work high on M and getting lost in a closet while painting it. Asked what the deal was and was told shhhh I am having a conversation. That was his last day on Mayo. He got lost to Narnia. Once I had a guy call in sick to his restaurant bar shift right before his shift and then proceeded to show up crap face drunk for happy hour during the time he was supposed to be working. He was not a bright man. I work construction, and one of the subs gave me an invoice with no receipts. Turns out he wanted 30k for 4 weeks of work without paying the companies he rented equipment dumpsters from. I paid off the companies he owed money to and told him to frick off. Sad part is he's probably out there still doing the same thing. I worked at a retail store and found one of my co-workers was using the company iPad that we used to play music and order lunches to go on Craigslist and search for hookups. She didn't even bother to delete the search history. Not me but my dad. 
He has a small handyman company with less than a handful of employees. His tools somehow have the habit of growing legs when he's at construction sites so he rigorously writes his name on everything with permanent marker. One day, shortly after he hired someone new, his folding ruler is missing. He asks around if anyone has seen his folding ruler but that doesn't seem to be the case. He doesn't think much of it, sometimes things get lost. The next day he sees the new hire with a familiar looking folding ruler. He asks him to see it. New hire refuses. Dad tells him that he's his boss and insists he shows him the ruler. He complies under pressure. Sure enough, there's my dad's name on it in capital and bold letters. Now that could have been an honest mistake and there probably wouldn't have been any repercussions if he simply said oh, my bad, must have put the wrong one in my pocket, here's your ruler. But the new hire insisted that this was his ruler and that the name on the side of it wasn't my dad's handwriting but rather a note the new hire had written on it himself to remember my dad's name. What makes it even more stupid is that my dad's company pays for the tools of his employees. He could have simply asked for a folding ruler and my dad would have given him one for free but, no, he needs to steal the boss's folding ruler and give the stupidest lie imaginable as an excuse. Profanity filled road rage ran through an ambulance PA system at a crowded intersection. I had complaints coming in for well over a month. I feel that an ambulance should be allowed to chew you out over the PA for crap driving. When I was a bank teller, a fellow teller got fired for stuffing her purse with a strap of $100 s every day, $10,000. Here's the interesting part. She always put the strap back into her teller drawer at the end of the day. She did this for months and months apparently without anyone noticing. But when the camera auditors finally did catch it, she was confronted and fired. When they asked her why she put a strap of money in her purse each day but always put it back, she said that if the bank were ever robbed then she could just take the money home because everybody would have assumed it was taken by the robber. Holy crap. 300 IQ crime. Used to work at a laser tag facility. It was mostly high schoolers who worked there. One guy had only been working there a couple months when he came in on a field trip with some classmates, including his girlfriend. He thought it would be a good idea to sneak his girlfriend into the fog room inside the maze during their game, have sex, then brag about it to the management team. Underage sex at work is, and surprisingly, not something you should be engaging in, and definitely not something you should be publicizing. We'd also hold these overnight events where you'd come in from midnight to 6am and play all night long. Had a guy show up reeking of booze and clearly high on C to work that shift. He got fired on the spot, and I'd occasionally run into him on the bus afterwards. Man, that was the best job though. I have so many insane stories from those times. I worked at a pet store, and was the lead cashier so I had to train this girl who didn't think she had to abide by the uniform because it's just, store name, and doesn't count as a real job. That was a warning that despite her thinking she did need to follow the uniform rules. Then when ringing up customers she actually told customers they couldn't buy certain items because we were running low and she planned on getting a pet soon and wanted these items. I apologized and rang them up. Second warning with me explaining how that's not how it works and she could shop when she is off the clock. Finally my manager fired her when she tried to steal one of the cats that were up for adoption after being told she needed to wait for approval after they do a home visit and make sure she can care for the cat. Her excuse for trying to steal the cat? Her landlord doesn't allow pets so she wouldn't be approved and she'd be a much better pet parent than anyone who else who wanted the cat and much better than any of the customers we got. The girl didn't even last a week. I'm training a new girl. We're sitting at a computer together. The whole time I'm training her, she's scanning the perimeter around her. She's asking about this guy. Is he single? What about that guy? She's paying very little to no attention to what I'm telling her about. You know, the job. She's not even looking at what I'm doing as I'm demonstrating the work to her. She's rubbernecking every male who walks past. At first I was nice. Okay did you see what I just did there? Now when this happens, we do that. ETC etc. Her eyes were glazed over. She wasn't absorbing anything. I could tell. Nice wasn't working. After a time, I said to her very sharply, Are you here to work? Or are you here looking for a boyfriend? 
because if you're not here to work, I'm going to need to find someone else for this job. I had hiring authority. That snapped her into reality for about 15 minutes. I finally said it's break time. She smiled and said, I'm going to go up to the 4th floor and see if there's any fresh meat up there. After break time, I sent her into the fax room to collect some faxes I needed. The male guy was in there changing rolls of fax paper. He came out of the mail room and said I think there's something wrong with your new girl. He was very nervous. I said what happened. Apparently she was in the fax room which tended to get hot because of all the machines in there. She had perched her butt up on the edge of the table. Hiked her dress up to where her underwear was showing. Arched her back. Unbuttoned the front of her dress. And fanned herself with the sheaf of fax pages and said. Oh. It's just so. Hot. In here. Yeah. Like that. Like the opening of a porno. I totally believed him. I believe she did that. 100%. She totally did that. I called her temp agency and said she's not working out. I think this was under 2 hours. I have stories about temps for days lol. I would like to subscribe to temp stories. Harassment. He harassed virtually every person in the department on sexual, racial and religious grounds. Human resources put up a fight while I had people crying and quitting because of him. I worked with a guy like this when I was still in high school. So many of us complained about him to the boss owner but he continued to let it slide for months. I put up with it till after school ended then finally quit along with two other people. The main boss owner proceeded to say we had been immature about the whole thing. When I was working at Burger King, our restaurant manager was away on maternity leave, so we had someone from another store come in over that time to fill the role. He ended up hiring someone who had worked there 5-6 years previously, high turnover, so a lot of hiring leaving. The few staff that had known her before she'd left hated her, but had no idea why she left. She even passed all the checks from head office before she was hired. Restaurant manager comes back about a month after she's been hired. Takes one look at her. And rages. Like my RM is yelling at this girl. She's yelling at the manager that hired her. And all the crew that had known her when she was here last. Obviously none of us knew what was going on. But it turns out this girl hadn't left. She'd been fired. And management at the time hadn't told anyone that. Just that she'd quit. This girl had scammed BK by pretending to be pregnant, fake ultrasounds, plans, baby shower, the whole lot, and then took paid maternity leave so she could go work somewhere else, because it was seasonal work with better pay, with the idea of having a job for the off season to come back to. I have no idea how she got through the head office checks, but she was fired that day. Super impressive when you consider that I'm in New Zealand, so getting fired is usually a month plus long process here. Ro, I would hope that wouldn't slip by head office again. Crazy she applied to the same dang Burger King too. She actually committed fraud on some level. 1. He said, my ex-wife died and there's no one to take care of our kids. Needed a week off to sort everything out. Ex called to talk to him. Boom. 2. One of the guys went to lunch with short hair and came back with a ponytail down to his butt. Identical twins that were sharing the job. All the guys knew and thought it was funny. Yikes. A guy was hired at the metal fab shop I was working at. He had been laid off when we were slow he was rehired on a Friday. Started Monday. Goes and does his drug test first thing. He failed. Apparently he had celebrated being rehired over the weekend. It was funny listening to my boss say, are you kidding me? You knew our testing policy. You couldn't wait three days. I went from trained chef to welder fabricator in the last four years. I was amazed how prevalent drugs are in shops. Well, usually it isn't us welders using. I'm not being high and mighty here. I left kitchens because I was a fentanyl addict for years and needed to change my lifestyle. Laser operators. Break press ops or other general shop workers freaking party. Dude. I had to fire a pizza delivery driver because he threatened another driver with the giant rocker knife we used to cut pizzas. His reason was the other driver was gay and he didn't like his decadent lifestyle. Describing it as decadent is the gayest part of that story. I was a florist and had a 40 something woman delivering for me. I received a call from the building manager of a brand new office building, with only one tenant, 
telling me my driver wrote on the elevator wall with a sharpie. They had video showing that she was the only person to use the elevator during the time the vandalism took place. The worst part for me was, this happened a few days before Valentine's Day. The saddest was a lady that smelled like alcohol pretty frequently. I don't think she was drunk on the job. Maybe some shots done at lunch combined with sweating out a prior night. But the other members of the team started to complain about it and it was becoming disruptive. Interestingly enough, there was someone I worked with that always smelled of pickle juice. Turns out he was drunk at work the whole time, and masking the smell with pickles which works to a certain extent, but not perfect apparently. Had a food and beverage manager that brought a coffee into his female assistant manager on inventory day when the two of them would be alone performing inventory. She drank about half the coffee, started feeling dizzy and saw there was a heavy table pushed up against the door. She freaked out and got out of the area. She went to HR and they tested the coffee and it was roofied. Definitely the most interesting firing I was involved in. That's terrifying. Manager showed up drunk to an overnight shift he wasn't working and then got into a fight with two associates. Begged my associate manager not to tell me what happened. Didn't seem to remember there were cameras all over the store. Oh. Also the other manager at another job who sexually harassed three different employees and got a fourth pregnant. The first three came forward once we began an investigation after the fourth told us about the pregnancy. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.